Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to talk about keyboard shortcuts. And if you, here's the address, but it would take you a little while. You'd have to pause the video and it wouldn't be worth it. But if you can Google complete list of short keyboard shortcuts Corel Draw, and that'll give you a whole list of shortcuts. But I'm going to go over a few that I use quite a bit. And one of them that's really important, if you're engraving something and you've drawn something out and you want to make sure it's going to fit, there's two ways. I want these three items done. So there's one way you can do it. One, you can lasso them. Just go from that corner. I'm holding down the left mouse button. And I've got them lassoed. Now I'm going to hold down the shift button and I'm going to go over to my rectangle tool and it's going to draw a rectangle around my items. And you can see, you know, it's it's gotten to the top of the star there, but my star here is a little bit lower. So that way it's it's making sure everything's gonna fit. And if your laser has a red dot pointer, then you could take and run this job as a vector cut, leave the lid of your laser open, and it'll with the red dot pointer I'll trace around there. And then that way, let's say you had a piece of wood that's only this big and has some other graphics on it and you wanted to make sure that that text was going to fit into that into that space now a while ago I let's just get rid of this I selected all these by lassoing okay you can do the same thing here but let's say I don't want that one okay I want it I want it but I want the other ones moved out of the way a little bit or something hold down your shift button Click on every one of those five. There's actually six circles. I got all six selected somehow. I must have started with that. So we're going to do just these five. Now you can see I've got five objects selected on layer one. So I don't have that center one. So then you could modify that and, and do what all you wanted to. And almost in that same realm, and this is one of those keyboard shortcuts, I'm going to hold down the control button. I'm going to get a perfect square. But now let's say I want a rect or a circle or an eclipse. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Hopefully you can see this. I've got the eclipse tool. And when you know you're on that node, it actually comes up in a little blue node. There's edge, edge, and node. Now if you hold down the shift button, it's going to draw a circle from that corner. With that said, go over here to this node. This time, hold down the shift and the control button, and it's going to draw a perfect circle around the your object. Now let's talk about zoom real quick. Everybody should know that F4 is going to bring up everything that's anywhere, anywhere on your page. Let's just prove it here. Let's go F4. See it included in that square that I've got way out there. That's pretty important. When I draw, I've got, I make duplicate copies and I drag them out of the way. And, you know, I just want to make sure instead of zooming way out, this is a pretty neat little keyboard shortcut. Let's, um, let's just get the page here and we'll get off the zoom. And let's say we're, we've got the rectangle tool, still got the rectangle tool. We want to zoom in one time on one object, you hit the F2, F2 on your keyboard, and it gives you your zoom tool for one item or one chance, and then it goes back to your previous tool. If you had your pick tool selected, so to get your pick tool, just hit your space bar, but let's go to F2 again. I got my zoom tool. As soon as I let go, I'm back to my pick tool. So that's pretty important. So there's the F4 that's going to give you everything. There's the Shift F4 that's only going to show you what's on your page and won't incorporate that other stuff. Anyway, I hope those few items helped. But you need to go to this website or Google this, come up with those shortcuts, figure out how to print them off, and sit there and just play back and forth with CorelDRAW and learn these and it'll make your life so much easier. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.